Brendan, did you ever get the ban ban Fortnite items? There were no ban ban Fortnite items. It was a it was a fucking it was a creative map. What are you talking about ban ban Fortnite items? They lied. Nobody lied. Whoever li- whoever talked to you lied. They were literally just releasing a map for it. Nobody lied. You misunderstood the human condition. Stop attacking the window. What are you doing? Stop. Deal. Man out there. One second. I'll be right back. No, I'm back. One of the I think one of our neighbors has an outdoor cat. We see him sometimes. I call him Cheese. And he was out there, so I gave him some treats. He's too big and too like clean to be like a stray. So I'm I'm hundred percent sure that he's a, he's a neighbor's like cat. Did you give him cheese? No, I gave him some treats. No, it's just cheese. He's out there, he's roaming around. I don't know what his name is. He doesn't wear a collar, but I know he's big enough to wear he's not a stray, he's somebody's outdoor cat. But I was at Beals was like attacking the window, so it's like, what is going on? What is what is happening here, little creature? And apparently, yeah, there was a little creature outside. Well, he's a big guy. He's like he seems to be like four or five. He's a, he's a big guy. <sighs> he could be the ultimate stray cat. He could have eaten the other strays. No, he's well too way fed. He's way too big. He's not like fat, but he's way too big to be a stray. And he's way too, way too friendly. Because the strays around here run away and scream at you, so. Yeah, he's definitely well-fed, and he's way too big to be a stray. Anyway, new Fortnite season, baby. Uh, We're going to play some Fortnite, then we're going to play some Voices of the Void. Pretty excited. There's a new Voices update. Ready to get into that. But also, there's a new Fortnite update, so I thought, why don't we just uh, tackle both today and get a little bit of this and a little bit of that, huh? How do y'all feel about the Fortnite Battle Pass? Because I'm I'm neutral on it. I don't really care about this Battle Pass. I hope gameplay this season is good. Because I, I mean, except for, it, like, this guy is a freak. Assuredly. Assuredly a freak. And that's a skin I definitely want to have just because he's a freak. Um, But are you going to get the Snoop Dogg? I don't care about Snoop Dogg, dude. I'm sorry. I could. I have the B-Vucks. How much is he? How much is Snoop Dogg? What is he, like 1800 I have the V-Bucks. I can't afford his lowrider bike glider. I can't afford his axe izzle. I could afford just the walk. I don't know any of Snoop Dogg's songs except for the smoke weed every day. That's the one I know. I know the one where he's, hold up. Don't play this, because you're going to have licensed music in this. And I don't care that you put Ice Spice in the Ice Spice Island. We do not care, man. A man with pigtails? Oh, you can't say this shit about Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg can do whatever the hell he wants with his hair. We don't judge Snoop D-O-double-G. He can do whatever the hell he wants with his hair. Snoop Dogg could, like, literally do anything with his hair. We're just like, yep. That's Snoop Dogg. Understandable. He also has a... He, he does also have a wine. Yeah, he has a Snoop wine. I don't know anything about the Snoop wine. I'm not going to lie to you. I think my mom bought a bottle once, but she hasn't opened it up. Yeah, but I'll still make fun of him for doing the NFT stuff. Yeah. Here's the thing about NFTs and celebrities, though, is uh, uh, celebrities don't understand that stuff, man. They don't get it. Celebrities will just be like, oh, this is a thing to make money. What is it? Like a picture? Oh, all right. I don't blame celebrities for, I, I like, celebrities 100% for getting shilled in the NFTs because legitimately it's like, oh, what is this, a picture? So it's a picture. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. I'll sell a picture. Like, like, legitimately, that's that's about as far as it gets with the celebrities. Like, what? Are, oh, it's a picture. To what kind of picture? Oh, I don't get it. All right, yeah, okay. So it's a kind of picture, huh? 
oh my game always runs like ass whenever a new season comes out my first uh, the first like couple of games i play whenever a new season comes out always run like ass i never played season two or chapter two i guess so the throwback is interesting i remember a little bit of this maybe i played a, a like an iota of chapter two i remember a, a skosh of this oh, the memories come back memory and memories come back, memories come back. How's Freaky Fields? They don't have it anymore. It's gone. They killed it. Brother, this is the remix chapter. Freaky Fields is dead. They killed it. Freaky Fields is gone. This is the remix chapter. They ain't doing it no more. In service to the, the nostalgia gods. Dude, I saw people are really mad about Fortnite putting in Ice Spice. I don't know anything about Ice Spice. I just know that Fortnite players are really upset. And I feel like it's a lot of, like, teenagers upset. Is Ice Spice, like, a kid's thing and a mom thing? I feel like it's a lot of, like, 17-year-olds who are just starting to build the very foundation of their personalities. Like, they're finally, like, the person their personality is building. And their personality is Redditor who is mad about Ice Spice. Ice Spice is so, is so forced. I have no idea who she is. I have probably heard... She's a musician, right? She makes a music. So, like, I'm just like, man, I just... Why why you gotta hate so much, dude? I remember when I was a teenager. Same thing, dude, same thing. I remember when I was a teen, because I remember hating Justin Bieber and being like, Oh, Justin Bieber, he's so bad. I hope somebody gets him, dude. Oh, you fucker. Why you bomb me? Why you bomb me? What over there? You bomb yourself. You just bombed yourself, dog. Come here. Gotcha. I mean, that was probably a real person, right? You're not a real person. Definitely a real person. They were just dropping the bombs on me for no reason. I don't get it. What's up with the bugus bomb? They were smoothing. They were hitting the bugus, the bugus bomb. Anyway. Uh, like the valid... Uh, okay, weirdos just get mad at mauled at woman rappers for some reason. Like the valid criticism she raps about poop a lot. Does Ice Spice rap about poop a lot? I gotta listen to some Ice Spice, man. You're telling me she raps about poop? I'm sorry, man, but I, I mean, like, I don't hear a lot of rappers rap about poop. That might sell me. You might sell me an Ice Spice, honestly. Just telling me, yeah, she raps about poop. She raps about poop, huh? Well, now I'm fucking sold. Is that Goku? Hi, Goku. Damn, Goku got me. Oh no, Goku. A lot of her lyrics are fecal based. Oh, fair. Has the chat on screen been banished or just not for Fort Night? No, I banished it. I don't like it. I I I, I talked about this. I, I I I had the chat on screen for a little while. I don't like it. You know, I, I was I was trying it out. You know, we try new things out here. We uh, we give it a little look-see. And I was like, yeah, I don't like it. No, sir. It makes editing a little bit more annoying. I love you and appreciate you, chat. But I, uh, I already got enough on my fucking plate. I'm trying to make editing a little bit easier. I liked it. I, I, yeah. I don't mind that it's gone. I think most people were ambivalent about it. Brennan is copyrighted music off, so you're not going to hear Drop It Like It's Hot with the Boogie Bombs. Yeah, it's going to be default Boogie Bomb noises. I'm sorry. Doing No Shave November Ball? I'm not doing any kind of November. That's uh, so uh, 2013, 2014 to do any kind of November. You know what I'm going to do in November? Uh, live and enjoy my life November. What are you editing? I Fucking stream VODs. What are you talking about? What do you mean, what are you editing? I edit stream VODs into videos. Chat makes it annoying. From like a visual standpoint, it makes it annoying. Do you think I just stream and that's like my whole day? No. Brother, I wish I was one of those streamers who'd stream and that's their whole day. Call this annoying. I didn't call you annoying. I called you visually annoying, which means you're ugly. I called you ugly. Get it right. 
I didn't call you annoying. I called you ugly. There's a difference. Maybe if I had a hotter chat, I'd have a lot more money. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I thought you were editing a project. No. No, just stream highlights and stuff. Can't believe we would do this. I'm ugly and I'm proud. Yeah, I'm the type of guy to call my chat ugly. What are they going to do? Revolt? I'm not owned. I'm not owned. Yeah, I think there's uh, steam coming out of your ears, dude. I'm sorry, man, but I can already... I can already hear the train whistle, dude. I can already... Oh, man, I got to get used to Chapter 2 weapon. It's been a while since I've used guns without dog shit miles. It's been a while. You know what I am appreciative of this season, even though I'm not like a Chapter 2 fiend? I am appreciative of uh, no more dog shit mods on the gun. I miss mods. I fucking don't. Mods were like the uh, the syndrome of guns in Fortnite. Because when everybody's super, nobody will be. And that's what mods did for me. Mods were fucking syndrome. Mr. Brincredible. You are in the minority? No, I'm not. I'm in the majority. I'm sorry, man. Majority rules. I'm cooler and stronger and much more handsome than you, and I'm much taller than you, therefore I'm the majority. There is a majority of more me than there is of you. Pound for pound, mass for mass, there is more of me than you. Making you the minority and making me huge. Look at how small and weak you are. I could grip you in my hand and crush you like an onion. Take me down to fertile fields and show me where they plant the corn. You wouldn't do that, though? No, I wouldn't do that. I'm not a rude guy. I'm not a fight guy. Is that Kakashi-sensei? Is that Vegeta? Oh, fucking bogus bomb, dude. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get used to this season. Oh, this season's gonna be a headache. So mean to us. Isn't the, the right of the Twitch streamer to be mean to the chat? Isn't that like the right of the passage? Isn't that isn't that the, the power of the streamer? The streamer is mean to the chat. The chat acquiesces. The chat fights back. The chat loses. You're just text on the screen, man. What if I close my eyes and walk away? Do you know what I do also dislike about the season? All my loadouts gone, man. I have to I have to remake all my loadouts again. Brendan, please, I need you to pick Raven Team Leader and land at Freaky Fields. They got rid of Freaky Fields, man. Freaky Fields died, Zaffy. Does Gordon and I have a story going on? Eh. Not in an interesting sense like they used to. Fortnite lore is kind of haphazard and, and sloppy depending on the season. There's stuff, but it's not as important as it used to be. Then they get rid of the lore guy. Well, yeah, Donald Mustard, uh, famous for being the Fortnite lore guy and also for working on Advent Rising on the Xbox. Yeah, they they ever since Donald Mustard left, the uh, the Fortnite lore has not mattered. It's there, but like you got to do the story missions and then like the events build into it and then past that, like nobody cares. They're starting to bait that the old stuff might be coming back, maybe. Well, yeah, because they realize to be able to sell even more collaborations, they have to also offer some Fortnite things to the diehards. They can't just get away with Disney here, Disney there, Disney fucking everywhere. They gotta, they gotta give us something, man. They gotta do something, man. Oh, Ariana Grande Beach. They brought it back. Does a BR really need story and lore? No, but it is really funny to talk about like, okay, so do you know about the Ice King from Fortnite? Have you heard of Zero Point Energy? And that's really the fun part of video games having deep and connected lore, right? Is just to be like, okay, so you've played Fortnite. Have you heard about the Zero Point Energy? What? Okay, so you've heard of FNAF. Have you heard of Pregnant Ant MatPat in FNAF? I'm so dead. Yeah, I'm dead. 
I'm alive for now. Have you heard of the High Elves? Did you know they're adding the High Elves into Gortnite? What I will say is this season, much like the other re uh, OG season, I'm going to do terrible. Garen fucking teed. Because I think for this season, I don't think there's any guns I like in this season for chapter two. So I have to wait until they start adding weird shit to it. Yep, there it is. All the kids are out. I think it's a mini season. It's a mini season, yeah. For me, mini seasons are usually like, I'm I'm probably going to like play a bit of this and then never play it again. But then again, like I started chapter three. So anything below chapter three, I'm like, oh God, dude, I don't know what I'm doing, man. You got Ugunga and I ain't know what it is, but I'll figure it out. Each week will be a new loot pool. Yeah, we're in the dog shit early weaponry that people love. The classic weaponry, but I want that Eminem minigun. Where you Samalama Dima Lama Hama Namala Samanama Lama Superhuman Nimala. Playing enough to get through the battle pass, and that's it. That's pretty much me for this for this season. Same as the last re uh OG season. People love when Fortnite is boring. I uh, my my only problem with chapter five in general was that I didn't like weapon mods. Past that, I liked the weapons on offer, but I did not like weapon mods. I was so sick and tired of weapon mods. But I don't like OG Fortnite weapons because I hate the spray and I hate the spread. Why do they ever change 18's outfit off of this? Uh, because, well... Uh, you gotta remember Red Rocket, it, 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 the the Red Rock, the Red 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 Ribbon, not Red Rocket Army, uh, Red Ribbon Army, Bazinga. Um, the Red Ribbon Army is the equivalent of like the SS in Dragon Ball. So like, probably a big reason why she changed it is because <laughs> she didn't want to wear like you know. Yeah, but all her new outfits suck. She's a mom. Let her wear whatever the hell she wants. She's like a mom now. Toriyama, Toriyama writing women, it's like, ah, cool woman. Now make her a mom. But all her new outfits suck is what people were saying when Bulma took off the bunny suit. Ah, uh, well, here's the thing. The Bulma, the Bulma bunny suit was the height of Dragon Ball Z female costumes and, uh, if, if you wear anything else, uh, Bulba's kind of a loser after that, I'm not going to lie. Is that a cardboard box? Oh, yeah. Who's Bulma? Dragon Ball Z character. Oh, fuck, gnome. Got a gnome. They brought the, the gnomes are back. They're watching TV, son of a bitch. I fucking knew it. The gnomes are back and they're TV watching. Ah, uh, shit. I can't fucking believe the gnomes have returned. Everyone in the, everyone in the Android saga was wearing jean jackets. Yeah, we, 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 the big denim enjoyers. Oh shit, a gnome. Fuck you. Ang flew down those stairs. Ang's fucking dead. Hate to be the bearer of bad news. I fucking killed Ang. Where are they? I can hear your the the pitter patter of little feet, like Santa Claus with a gun. I hear the pitter patter of little feet. Where are you? Show yourself to me. Oh, you're up there. Okay. You're a real person, probably. Oh my god. 
dismantling. I'm dead. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm never going to be able to get used to these, like, Chapter 2 weapons. I swear to God. Are we not on Zero Build today? No, we are. Zero Build just has port forts They didn't, like, build a... They threw down an item to be able to do that. There are buildable items in Zero Build. Was Cell a bug? Like, was he a, just a big person bug? No. He was, a gen he was like a genetic freak. He wasn't normal. I think he was part bug. He was probably also part bear. They built Cell out of a lot of stuff. Bug. Bear. Goku Cell. Piccolo Cell. Cell was like a bunch of guys. That was basically the bit of Cell. He was a bunch of dudes. Put Yajirobe cells in him. I mean, I bet they had Yajirobe. I mean, if he had a funny sword, he does go big and round. Maybe he does have some Yajirobe cells in him. Yeah, Goku. I'm gonna blow that up. Yeah, like I'm sure, I'm sure Cell is not just a bug. He's a bunch of different guys. I believe I believe the only confirmed DNA he has is Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Frieza, and King Cold, Piccolo, Frieza, and King Cold. Yeah. Uh, sell was sell. This is the truth. Let's go to Salty Springs. Unless you count all the people he ate. Then it's a lot more. Well, yeah, he ate a lot of retail clerks. Sell would be incredible at being able to, like, sell a credit card. Since Cell is part Piccolo, could Piccolo absorb him like he did Kami? You know... I wonder, actually... No, then Piccolo would be too strong. I think he'd be too I think he'd be too tight. He'd be too tough. He'd be too tough, Piccolo. Yeah, I think I think that's too much of Piccolo. Piccolo already has his uh Dragon Ball orange form. He doesn't need anything else. They're already trying to pick up Piccolo and give Piccolo more power. He, he's got his orange form now. He's good. Don't need nothing else. Oh, Piccolo is like green Krillin. I'm saying it. In terms of power, he's green Krillin. Piccolo ate two men and became orange now. Pretty much. Yeah. I do like the payoff of somebody finally using the Dragon Balls to make themselves stronger. That's not like a villain. Because it's always one of those things where it's like, why don't they do this? Brendan, you're not krilling it right now. Yeah, well, yeah, I know. I'm dog shit at these OG seasons. Right now, all I care about is unlocking the, uh, the landmarks and checking out the weapons. Realizing, man, I hate the OG seasons. And then, like, walking away. And also, whenever a new season starts, it's got to calibrate. Uh, it's got to put me with more Nintendo Switch players. We got to wait. We got to hope to hope and pray to God they'll give me more Switch players. They're putting me with too many gamers, people who can actually aim. Orange Piccolo, Blue Goku, Golden Frieza, Purple Letter. Don't forget about Black Frieza. They got Black Frieza now. Don't forget about Black Freezer. They got Black Freezer now. I don't know what they're going to call that form. I I think officially, I think it's called Black Freezer. Or Freezer Black. It's literally called Black Freezer. Yeah, they got Black Freezer now. Yeah. Vegeta is actually purple now. Yeah, he's got Ultra Ego. Because Goku has Ultra Instinct. 
so like Vegeta needed something like that. So like they got ultra ego now. Really just throwing it out there crazy style, huh? That's the dude from Rat Patootie. What is the guy from Rat Patootie? Is it Egon? Igor? I don't know. What's the food critic's name? Is it Ego? Is it Ego? That probably sounds right. I don't remember Rat Tatootie. Anton Ego? Oh, yeah. He eat the Ratatouille and he go, Mom. I don't, I don't, I don't uh, internalize Pixar movies for the most part. All I remember about Ratatouille is it came out on my birthday, and that's it. They got the rat in there who cooked the food. They got the f chef boy or the guy who, like, ruins his restaurant and dies. And you got the little rat who, like, learns from the ghost of the chef who dies. And he controls that guy's hair and makes epic mealtime. More bacon strips. More bacon strips. Look at me, I can kill a bot. Gnome. Aw. Oh. Burger and fry gnome. Oh. Pat Oswald rat? Yeah, Pat Oswald rat. Gotcha. Dangerous game we're playing here, eh? Oh shit. What are you doing? Oh my god. We need a sequel that has a cat controlling the head chef. I don't think we need a sequel to Ratatouille. I don't think they need to do a sequel to Ratatouille. Yeah, we need a live action remake. You're so smart, Brendan. No, Disney, Disney, I think killed all of their live action remakes. Didn't they? Like, they're not doing it anymore. Like, they just, they, especially after like Lady and the Tramp. Do people even know that there was a live action Lady and the Tramp? They're still doing it. Moana soon. Live action Moana is coming. I'm not surprised they're doing live action Moana. Moana was really popular. Never seen it. They're doing a sequel to Moana. There was a live action Lady in the Tramp. Yes. It's not real. It was real. It is real. There are trailers for it. You know what happened to it though? COVID. It came out during the COVID-19 pandemic at the very beginning. In like, I think the first six months or so it came out. There was a lot going on that year. Yeah, I'm I'm not surprised that people didn't internalize Lady and the Tramp live action movie. Because genuinely it is not a it is not a memorable thing. I, I saw I, I I remember seeing a commercial for it while I was working at Best Buy wearing a mask in the break room and just being like, damn, I'm an essential worker. People need their TVs. Uh and I was just sitting there in the break room watching TV and eating my fucking uh disgusting TV dinner that I brought with me, my hungry man. And just, what do you mean they're making a live action Lady in the Tramp movie? What? And then I never heard anybody say anything about it. When are we gonna get live action All Dogs Go to Heaven? That's not a Disney movie, mind you. That's just a movie. Also, like, I don't know. I just hate the hate the 
idea of quote unquote live action this, live action that. Because uh, uh, like it's like live action Lion King. It's not live action. They're not real animals. They're, <laughs> they're still animated. It's all CGI. It's like the pull of even calling them live. They're not even live action. They're CG. They're still animated. They're just animated worse. I thought you were gaslighting, so I looked it up. Yep, Disney Plus release. I told you, Lady and the Tramp live action is a movie. Nobody knows about it. It feels like a Disney secret. Not like it's worth watching. It's funny that Disney is trying to do revision villain origins to make them more morally gray. Like, I, that's, I like, Cruella, right? Like, there's no reason to make Cruella, like, to try to make her likable. That's a woman who wants to kill dogs and put the dogs on a coat. You don't need anything else. Like, that's it. The fact that they're trying to de-Mr. Burnsify the Disney villains. It's like, she wanted to kill puppies. Uh, like, you could just leave it at that. She's an evil witch. Like, man. That's it, dude. She's uh, freaking evil. Oh, you can drive these trucks now. What the fuck? Okay. I don't know why they were dancing when I approach when the like I approached them, but probably a bot. What if the bots are getting smarter? I do like the classic Fortnite car truck being drivable. Um, I remember, I remember the pick em up trucks. No more like the four door SUVs. Kind of thankful, honestly. Be bombs. I'm not gonna utilize them, but I like having them. Disney will probably never have a better villain than Frollo. I mean, like, here's the thing: it's like you don't need to make a villain relatable. You don't, you don't, you don't have to. They're a villain. You can make them relatable, but you don't gotta go and make them relatable. You gotta make somebody evil, just make somebody evil. People are just like that sometimes. Some people are just fucking evil. Nature, nurture, sometimes it doesn't matter. You gotta have a loving family, a beautiful childhood, caring parents, wonderful friends, and then you just wake up one day and you're like, you know, I'm fucking evil, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill a dog today. Sometimes people are just fucking weird and evil. Oh, what? How'd he die? What happened? Oh, is that a sniper? Ah, son of a bitch. That's fair. Hey, I relate to Frollo. I want to fuck Esmeralda really bad, too. I <laughs> oh, man. Am I really not going to like any guns this season so far? At least on launch day. Is it really going to be one of those days where I just hate every gun? Uh, let's see. I'm not going to do a loadout, but who should I swap over to? Yeah, I'm going to have to just fix my loadouts. I only have the Gooner. I only have three Gooner ones I set up before the stream. I relate to Jafar. I relate to Jafar because I want unmitigated power. With no checks and balances. And I, I fundamentally understand that. Now do an emo emote that makes her ass shake. Uh, what if she ate a piece of pizza? Um, what if she powered up? What if she bowed? Still can't believe they put Mrs. Incredible in this game with all that ass. Yeah, I... 
I guess they just, uh, you, you know, after the Peter Griffin skin wasn't like, uh, fat Peter Griffin, I guess they were just like, fuck it, man. All shapes and sizes in the game now. We don't, we don't even care. We know it's going to sell. It's like, oh, they got me. The Gooner skins always sell. They always do. That's why they don't put them in the battle pass. Didn't they de-ass Snake's model? I don't think they, they removed the ass from his model. I think the Fortnite model just didn't have all that ass. The DreamWorks dump truck? You mean the Pixar plumper? I think I think I think you you meant to say the Pixar plumper. I get it. What the hell? I don't want this. What? How do I get rid of this? I don't want the fucking bandage bazooka. Okay, maybe now I do. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Jesus Christ. I don't even know how I'm dying this season. Oh my God. I'm like, what the fuck is happening, man? Only the real sickos have logged on. A DDD boat where I crawl around the ground like a baby would be pretty awesome, I think. I'm just getting my dick kicked in this season already. If this is indicative of the rest of the season, I am I am cursed. I'm surprised I'm not seeing more Mr. Incredibles out and about with the fart grenade being back. This match needs a hero. Is that Snake playing the pipe organ? God, it's in Fortnite cool. Look at him go, dude. The old man inside is beginning to take over, but nah, it's all the like hit scan weapons and the weird spreads and the like classic Fortnite shit. Where I just, I was never good at aiming any of the Fortnite weapons until they like, you know, made the game better. Yeah, see, I'm not hitting shit. I gotta go into aim labs, man. I'm not going enough into aim labs. Yeah, and it's day one on a Saturday night. All the sweats are out. Let's go to Pleasant Park and fucking die there. Dusty old bones full of green dust. Yeah, pretty much. It's hit scan weapons. Always has been, always will. Give me a bow and arrow. Give me a give me a big stick. What are they adding Pyramid Head? I mean, they always could. Konami's already got their foot in the door with the, the Snake and the Riding collab. Like, we got the, what are we, the, the Snake and Riding collab, pretty cool. Um, They could always do like a James Sunderland pack. Oh, I forgot about this age old harpoon gun. Mary as a pickaxe. Listen, if there was a pickaxe, there was just a 3d model of Mary. I, I, I'd be, I'd, I'd be pleased. That'd be sick. I, Gotcha. Sorry. Oh, damn it. Learn my damn place again. Oh, I'm too used to modern Fortnite, man. So you so used to my accoutrements. So used to my big maps, my empty POIs, my hundreds of bots. Oh, let's...
let's see. Who do we bring it? Who do we bring out of the cave? Classic. I think it's time for gnome shenanigans, man. I I think it's time to bring out the gnome, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think this is the perfect season to do it. I think I think I gotta bring out the gnome, man. I'm gonna keep the stop sign though. I th I think it's time for some fiddle dee dee, man. I think I have to do it. I think I have to bring the gnome out. The hook does damage. I never do that. Yeah, the uh, funny harpoon gun. Hit them with it, make them fly. The old man is too used to his gun hors d'oeuvres. Well, that, and I gotta turn my sensitivity up because I haven't set to Call of Duty still. I'm, I'm gonna do the gamer thing. I, I'm, I'm at peak gaming right now. I'm blaming my, uh, my equipment instead of the gamer. I'm gonna bring my DPI up a little bit. There we go. Actually, let's bring it. I wanna, if I bring it down a bit. No, don't bring that one. What are you doing, G-Force? We're going to bring it down a bit. Bring out your gnomes. Find me with my Pickle Rick back bling. Right, what's your favorite art style? Um, I'm a simple bitch. I like the art of H.R. Geiger. Uh, I like abstract expressionalism. I like Jackson Pollock. I like a lot of classical, classical art. I love a Pollock painting. I do. I, something about a Pollock painting and just seeing it being like, holy shit, look at him fucking go. He spread that shit. But I'm also not um, an art enjoyer per se, so I'm not like somebody who sits in a museum and herms and haws at like how beautiful it is. And I couldn't tell you a single art piece that I particularly love. I just like Pollock because it's kind of just a disgusting like spread of paint on canvas. It's chaos. It's nothing. It's everything. The idea of art that is also meaningless at the same time interests me but I, I like seeing a cool picture you know sometimes i'll go on the internet and see a cool picture but then i'll see a picture underneath of it of like crystal from Star Fox spreading her asshole and i'm like both are art okay i don't like the second one per se but like you know that's also art You gotta give me a link to the second one, man. Please! Please show me the crystal picture, Brendan! Please! Ah! No, I'm not sending it to you. Oh, sweating? Oh, sweating. You can always tell it's a sweat whenever they're wearing the, the superhero skin suit. No, I'm not gonna share it with you! No! Uh, 27. Get the goo gun. Get the funny mace. Get the funny picture, I guess. And then hope that inevitably they put me in a lobby where I don't absolutely get boofed out. Oh, man. Yep. I mean, I've talked about this in earlier streams. I have such trouble with the classic Fortnite weapons. I do. I don't like a single one of them. Never have and never will. I am so bad at this. Oh, yeah. 
I'm so bad at this game whenever they bring the OG seasons back. I just hate these weapons. Thank you, Roger Cheeto, for the seven months. I appreciate it. Which is not indicative of, like, the game's problem, really. More of a me problem. Because I just, I hate that. Man, do I hate that spread. Everybody has laser sight. I don't have laser sight. One of the only, like, games with weapons that make me feel like everybody else has just got perfect weirdo aim. And I'm like, I'm, I'm clicking on the head, man. Game bad, I'm hearing. I just, I feel like I'm clicking on the head, but the bullets fly around their head. The burst is pretty good. Well, it, 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 yeah, indicative of the way that I've died to the burst 80 times already. The burst is definitely good. Gonna be one of those seasons where there's only one good weapon. They got the Sharpie out and put it on their, uh, their TV screen. Dude, I already did that. I'm hitting him in the head. You know how? I got a crosshair on my monitor. I know I'm hitting him. It's just the spread is ridiculous. I got a crosshair on my monitor. I'm not ashamed to admit it. It helps me sometimes be able to aim. So I know I'm hitting him. Semi auto sniper is insane, just like the other OG. Yeah. It's just one of those days where you don't want to wake up. Everybody is fucked. Everybody is cracked. Everything is whacked. Or maybe I should believe the other chat members who are saying I'm just old now. See, I can hit him. Not even a single time. Crosshair on them the whole ride. Well, at least I got the big fish. Can I dance with the big fish? There we go. Big fish is dancing. Season's good, actually. Oh, my God. Yeah, I have no idea. Genuinely confused about how I lost that firefight. Probably should have eaten the shield pot, but... That's where I'm at right now. It's like the, huh? What? It's a lot of like, huh? What? Well, you mean I'm dead. Huh? Man, I'm glad it's not just me. It's just a lot of what? Huh? What do you mean I died? What do you mean I lost that fight? What? OG weapons feel like ass? Thank you. Good. I'm glad somebody else agrees because they, they do definitely feel like ass. But remember, that's also how they felt back then. They don't just feel like ass now. They've always felt like ass. The problem is, is you got a lot of people who grew up as like a child and now they're in their teens and early 20s that loved those shit guns. And they can still use them. They have the muscle memory for it. So they're cracked as hell. They're locked the hell down. This is their season. That's why they call it the OG season. Out to the OGs. Another day... Another victory for the OGs. Gotta play aim labs, man. You gotta get on aim trainer, man. Brendan, you gotta get on aim labs, man. You gotta jump on, dude. Your, your Fortnite game is pretty, it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty lame, man. You gotta get on aim trainer, man. They're waiting for you, dude. In the test chamber. Brennan needs the Fortnite camp. Dude, I'm going to have to call Fortnite Feast. I'm going to have to... Oh, you require my services. Oh, oh. I'll teach you how to game. Oh. Oh. 
Man, if, if Fortnite Feast didn't die of myocardial infarction, then like... We'd be, we'd be rolling here. He could save you. What could save me is getting anything but like a level one pistol while everybody else gets the burst rifle. Every time I get a rare pistol, every time, every drop is like this. Thank you. I need one of those five or Fortnite coaches. I keep talking about it. I got to hire one of those guys to help me out. Now, the thing is, did you know that if you aim at your enemies? Yeah. You can hit your enemies with your gun. Oh, wow. You know, I never thought about it that way. But if I aim at my enemies, I'll be able to actually hit them with my gun when I aim at them. Herm. Oh, the pistol's automatic? Oh, that's where I'm fucking up. Okay. Well, I didn't know that. I was clicking. Maybe that's why I lost that fight. I was treating it like the pistol of old. That's my fucking... I'm a foul fool who knows not. Gotta, gotta go to my neighbor's house and knock on their doors one by one. Is your kid good at Fortnite? I need his help. Is your child good at Fortnite? I need their help. No, I'm not dropping at Snoop Mansion, man. I'm dropping at the, like, lesser... No, I'm dropping at the POIs that, like, nobody goes to so I can gather some shit before I get into a horrible firefight and die 18 times. Gnome found in the magical forest. Gnome found in the whimsical forest. Shot in the head 80 times. Oh, these are not even real guys. Oh, okay. These are Brenchmen. Who's... Who's yelling like Arnie? What? They yell like Arnie? Why do they do that? Why do they sound like that, man? Wait. What? Are they okay, man? Do they need help? We're gonna talk to their parents or something? Thank you, Duckwacker, for the 16 months. I appreciate it. Oh, shit. I'll take that. Oh, fuck. Oh, 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 oh. I fell for it. What the hell, man? How much health do these things have? What? Jeez, Louise. I mean, sure, that'll do it, but holy, holy crap, Lois. They have a billion fucking health. No idea. All right, well, I guess I give up on those items. Well, I didn't even look at what they were out of the rare chest. So I should go back down and take a look. Hope the turrets don't kill me. All blues? Were they all blues out of the rare chest? Oh, they were. What the fun? That's not even worth it, man. <laughs> that was a real player panic. Bro thought they could harpoon. Yeah. True. They did think that. They thought. Found out they ain't thinking very much. See, so I can kill one real player. Um, past that, I mean, I'd be a little bit worried. I can kill one real guy. More than one? Now you're asking a lot of me, I'm not gonna lie. How's the new season? I don't like it. But I didn't like the other OG season very much either. Then again, I'm not super far into it. I've died a lot. 
So it's a lot of like, ah, oh, fuck all of these old style, like chapter two, chapter one weapons. Oh, uh, how do I use these? How do they fucking work? How did people play games like this? Kind of fell off Fortnite, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's a lot of people. That's what the OG chapter is kind of like. Get back into Fortnite. Look, Snoop Dogg. Huh? Like, yeah, uh huh. Yeah, cool. All right. Yeah, you got Snoop Dogg in here now. Nice, man. They need to mix up this season quick. Nah, I mean, the people who are happy will be happy is the thing. I think there's a lot of people who are very happy the weapons are dog shit, which I totally, like, understand and accept. There are a lot of people that are going to be happy that the uh, the weapons are doo-doo. That the map is, like, the classic. And they'll they'll add more to the loot pool as the season goes on. Plus, like, I don't know, man. I'm playing Fortnite, but I could be playing Deadlock right now. I could be going Viscous. I could be playing Call of Duty. Too many other games are occupying my time in, like, the multiplayer space, but... Uh, I'm gonna at least get my, you know, my jobbies done. Gorgeous Gorge. Gotta get your Fortnite taxes done in case a uh, season is actually fun, you know? It's like me with the jungle season. It's like, oh, fine, I'll finish it. I'll get Optimus Prime. Then at least I'll have Optimus Prime. Where's the landmark for this fucking area? Is it the mountaintop? Just glad the Marvel shit's gone. To be honest, you cannot win a, win a match without them. No, I won matches without them. I don't think you needed the Marvel shit to win. It just gave you an advantage. Is this the landmark? Is this the clear spot? Bro, how the fuck do I unlock this landmark? Is it the campsite? It's not the campsite, is it? It's not this house. Well, it's not the facility. Not over there. I'm in the gray area. Let me unlock where the gray area is. Just trying to reveal the map, man. Did that count? No, that didn't count. This didn't count either. The War Machine jetpack was just oppressive. Nah, you guys should say fun. I liked parts of the Marvel season. Didn't like all of it, but I liked enough of it. Then again, I was always making sure I would have the Marvel stuff on me, so. I was like, nah, 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 nah. I'm not getting into this firefight. I don't have the jetpack yet. I'll get into this firefight the second I have a jetpack. You talk to me the second I'm flying, Buster, and not a second before. There's all my shit reloaded. I like not playing Fortnite. Wow. Wow. We got a, we got a, wow. We got an elite over here. We got a, ha, ah, move him out. A member of the gaming elite. Oh, ha, da, la, di, da. Did not know I was going to run into a member of the gaming elite over here. No idea. Hitting you with a plasma grenade, dropping your shield with a plasma pistol, and then popping you in the head with a normal pistol. I think it's fine if you don't like Fortnite. I think it's one of those things where you don't got to be like, I don't play Fortnite. <laughs> I play real games like Total Warhammer 3. I don't know. You don't got to worry about it, man. I only play real games like Pets Horses 1, Pets Horses 2, and Pets Horses 3. Real games for gamers. That's a Stumpy Ridge. Oh, that didn't clear the map. Okay. I prefer video games that require a little bit of thought. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Have you ever played The Witness or Braid? Oh, my Jonathan Blow. <laughs> I only play real games for real gamers like Connectables, Bears. Oh, dude, I only play Rise of Nightmares in the Connect. I wake up, I play Rise of Nightmares, I go to bed. I wake up in the next morning. I play Rise of Nightmares, I go to bed. I don't work, man. I don't think. All I do is I wake up, I play Rise of Nightmares, I go to bed. I'm a creature of habit. I'm a creature of Rise of Nightmares on the Connect. 
You know, at least play Space Cadet 3D Pinball on Windows 95. Your grandma gaming. That's grandma gaming. Not my grandma, mind you, but like a normal grandma. That's grandma gaming. Remember when I was a kid, and my, uh, I got Pokemon Pinball for the Game Boy, and my mom and my grandma decided to, like, start a feud between each other for, like, the high score. So they would steal my Game Boy over and over again to try to get a high score in Pokemon Pinball. To the point where I had to hide the cartridge so that would, they would stop fucking fighting over Pokemon Pinball. Then, as a kid, years later, I found a copy of Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire at the fucking park. Lost my Game Boy Advance for, I want to say, six months, basically, to their feud starting back up again. Bunch of bullshit, man. I don't let my grandma and my mom around any kind of pinball video games. It starts some shit. Only real gamers play Blackwater for the Xbox 360? Is that the... Oh, Blackwater? The, uh, the private, the PMC, the Private Military Corporation video game? That's crazy. I hit that guy. Oh, I can, because it's hit scan. Gamers today fundamentally can't understand playing only one video game, and that's Cool Spot. Gamers today would never be able to comprehend. Oh, shit, is that... We got a number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we're about to get them. 10 kills on the board right now. Just wiped out Tomato Town. My friend just got downed. I revived him. Now we're heading southbound. Open the map. Look at the mark sheet. Heading over down to the Pleasant Park Street. Take me to your Xbox to play Fortnite today. Go to Moisty Meyer. But Nailu Lake. Oh, remember that? Better times, man. Better times. <laughs> I really want to chug jug with you. We can be pro Fortnite gamers. Try to chase that person. Where are they at? I don't know if they're coming up over me. Definitely not better. <laughs> never heard of it? You never heard of the chug jug song? Oh my god. I said, hey, broski. One HP now. Gamers today can't handle Uno on the 360 and getting jump scared by somebody's god awful picture they took with their console camera. Come on, man. You're I'm I'm cracked, man. You're on health, man. I crack your shields, man. I'm coming. I was coming for you, man. Give me the pumpy. I told him, man. Give me the grappler. Full grappler. There we go. As long as I'm not, as long as I'm not hot dropping, if I'm not hot dropping, I'll be fine. Or what's better, Fortnite drop spot Gooners or Gro Gooners Grotto or Gapers Gap? I still like Freaky Fields, but that was a real one. Hey, Valeria. A lore. Remember when I'd accuse you and your friends of trying to ruin the world, and you'd roll your eyes. You'd say something like, "Quiet, the adults are talking." Fun times. Really I gotta collect my Fortnite audio logs. I need them, man. Maybe it's you oh shit, I'm just gonna drink my chug jug. I'm not leaving this message to gloat. I'm really not. I plan on doing that in person. Goodbye, Hope. I don't remember your story, because I never finished any of the story quests, but uh I bet some people liked it. All of your connections, you probably know this already. But Pandora's box is part of something bigger. Um any any shield pods. Would love a shield pod. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, we'll grab that med kit just in case. So, if this is goodbye, it's been nice being your sister. Open Valeria's sisters? Even 
better being your nemesis. Oh, I want the shield pod. Take care of yourself. Nisha says hi. Oh shit. That guy's following me. Okay. Ah, shit, you got me. Oh, you had the gold pumpy. I only had the purple pumpy. All right. I should have swapped over and shot him. Wasn't thinking. I mean, hey, made it to top 10. That's good enough for me. Oh, that's right. Don't you get the music pass and the Lego pass now just for playing the game? So you actually just get experience in the music pass now. So if I buy the premium Snoop Dogg pass, I just get this stuff if I complete it. Well, that's nice. Nice of the princess to invite us over to a picnic, eh, Luigi? Because I'm not playing festival, but ain't that nice. Oh. That don't look like Snoop Dogg. It's like a classic Snoop Dogg. There's a Snoop D O double G, or you can get the uh where is it? In the shop? You can get the normal Snoop D O double G. You can get Shaq right now. Look how big the Shaq model is. You can get Big Shaq. You can get uh, this guy. You get Fish Pool. Then there's like modern day Snoop Dogg. He looks much more like Snoop Dogg. 3500 for the Snoop Dogg offer. You get his dog house. You also get his... You get to turn into the dog, which is something. He turns into a dog in Fortnite. Yeah, in Fortnite, Snoop Dogg turns into the dog. I don't know, let's see. Classic season. Uh, erm, uh, erm. Man, I need to set up my... <laughs> oh, I like my cheese moldy, bro. <laughs> Can't stop thinking about that shit, man. We're going to go freeze it. I'm not going to change too much on this, though. I got to rebuild all my shit again, man. Then they got more loadout slots. I'm thankful for it, but... I know I got to give Frieza the... I got to give him the goop and the, the chicken. Brennan, did, did, I did find where the old loadouts are. Press the three dots button for them. Oh. Oh! So they kept the old loadouts. Okay. All right. Good shit. I was like, where are my old loadouts at, man? Well, that's good. Good they kept him here. I'm probably gonna have to. I don't think. I don't think there's a way for me to like port him over, is there? I'd rather be Peely, man. I didn't know you owned Mr. Breast, Mr. Beast. Oh, think about it. Do you think they'll ever bring him back to the shop? Do you think he's going to be a rare skin now? Do you think he's embroiled in too much controversy so they'll never bring him back? We'll never see the Mr. Beast skin ever again? No, they'll bring him back? Yeah, they'll bring him back. We'll see him again. Mr. Breskin with a mold moldy Lunchly backpack. Dude, the Lunchly saga is incredible. The amount of, like, shit they're doing... Not backpedaling, mind you, but, like, the amount of shit they're still doing. They're trying to be like, come on, man. It's, st it's still good. Still get the pizza once. Ah, 
I wonder, maybe I should have bought a Lunchly uh, just because of like, if they do a class action lawsuit against Lunchly, you could have gotten the check from it at least. If they if they do like a class action lawsuit against Lunchly, then at least you could get like a payout for it. I saw a clip where even Logan Paul said, I like my cheese moldy bra, and it's just like, oh man. You're trying, dude. I just, I don't know. If you're trying to do a food brand, I already talked about this a billion times in the stream, but like, it still vexes me. If you're trying to do any kind of food brand, aping Lunchables and trying to be the better Lunchable, is it like an unholy goal? But then making them almost exactly like Lunchables is like, you're not even offering anything different here, really. Like, after watching Lunchly reviews and it just being, yeah, it's just... Oh man, I fucked this up. Yep, there it is. I knew it. They were gonna hit me with the Pumpy the second I was like, they're close to me, damn it. It's not different in any meaningful way. If you were going to offer something, at least offer different kinds of meals. I'm saying just there is, okay, back in the old days, there used to be a Lunchable. And if you offered that in Lunchly instead, infinitely better. It was a little hamburger Lunchable or the little hot dog Lunchables. If you're going to make food shitty in a little package, at least do different kinds of food. Like, if you're going to do food shitty in a little package, do a different kind of food. I don't remember those, dude. Those Lunchables, they used to be a, a little hamburger. I fucking loved them. They had a little hamburger in there, a candy bar, and then they had a fucking can of cola. They used to put soda in Lunchables. They were, they were so awesome. Weren't there Lunchable tacos? Yeah, but like, there was a, there was a, uh, Lunchables has tried a billion different things to try to like get people into them. But it's just like, I'm an adult. If I want a Lunchable, I'm going to buy a fucking charcuterie at the Walmart deli. Like, I'm not going further beyond the charcuterie at the Walmart deli. Because I can get more bang for my buck even. I can get more food for my dollar per pound just buying a goddamn charcuterie. I'll just buy a damn charcuterie. I am an adult. I can go to the Walmart. I can buy a fucking charcuterie. Meats and cheeses. Like, I don't... That's why the, the idea of the adult Lunchable will always elude them. Because an adult can just buy food. The only reason I had a three-month period where I only ate Pizza Lunchables is because I really wanted Pizza Lunchables. And I was, like, weirdly obsessed about them for some reason. And even then, it wasn't only Pizza Lunchables. I was eating, like, dinner and stuff. But for lunch, for, like, three months, two Pizza Lunchables, and that was it. Because I was like, I just missed the god-awful garbage taste of these as a kid. Sometimes you're nostalgic for things that are bad. All right. Sometimes you get nostalgia for things that are bad. Oh, fuck with me, man. I have the corn buff. I can still lose with the corn buff, but I have the corn buff, man. Don't fuck with me. Felt the same thing about dinosaur chicken nuggets a few times, or it's like, yeah, sometimes you're nostalgic for things that you ate as a kid, even if they're bad. It's just the way the worm works. The worm inside your head is telling you, you want the bad shit. You want that fucking poison. Same but animal crackers. Oh, man. I, I, I want to say like seven years ago, I bought this big gallon thing of animal crackers. No, this wasn't even seven years ago. Fuck, this was like, I did this again like eight months ago. Is I bought a big like t thing of animal crackers. That was like my stream snack. 
If I wanted to eat something during stream, I just had a big fucking, like, fuck off gallon of animal crackers, and I just eat a bunch of them. That was like, eight, that was like eight months ago. Frosted or plain? Plain. I'm not buying the frosted. I, I, I do think the frosted are better. Right? The frosted definitely are better. But like, I don't, I'm not buying the frosted. Not for my tummy. Not for my dang tummy. And like normal animal crackers are good. All right. They're not like the best that you can have, but I, th I still think they're good. Just animal crackers. Oh shit. Ah, fuck. I don't even know if that guy is still up there. I don't know if I should take this chug jug or if I should just ascend and attack. Ah, shit. I pop them, they pop me. This is the rule of law. Brennan, you killed Marshmallow. No! How's he going to make a song I never heard now? I... <laughs> All right, we're going to take a little break. Um, we're going to play a little bit more Fortnite, and then we're going to move on to Voices of the Void after a little bit more Fortnite. So I'm going to take my hourly break, refill my water, go to the bathroom. But yeah, we'll, we'll switch over to Void in a little while here. Because they got a new update, but a little bit more Fortnite before we do that. So I'll be back. I did have to take a shit. I did have to take a shit. I'm sorry. I did have to take a shit. I am back, though. I'm sorry. I ate a... Dude, I had a cheat day, and I ate, um... <sighs> chicken Big Mac. The worst mistake of my fucking life. Don't eat the Chicken Big Mac. It is not worth the... It, it It's so bad. It's not good. It's real bad. It's not worth it. It's pretty vile. I had assumed that they would use at least decent kind of chicken patties, but instead the patties are like one big chicken nugget and it's just bad. It just ain't good. The patties aren't like the same patties as in like the chicken sandwiches and they're not the same patties as in like the nice chicken sandwiches. They're a different kind of chicken patty. It's like a McDonald's chicken nugget sandwich. You know, with the Big Mac sauce, mind you. It's not good. See, I expected mid because it's McDonald's, right? It's, it's McDonald's. I expect mid out of McDonald's, but not like... It was kind of like eating chicken leather is the best way I can put it. Is the chicken Big Mac is akin to eating chicken leather. But I, I guess that's what I get for trying, you know, a specialty McDonald's item. Do you see any good? Not a big fan. No. They got those, um, season one and, uh, you know, chapter one, chapter two weapons. Not a big fan of them. But I've also never liked those guns. Never try new things. Change is scary and hurts you. Always try new things. Even if the change is scary and hurts you, you learn a lesson. There's a lesson learned for me in the McDonald's Chicken Big Mac. I've learned my lesson, which is I don't like the McDonald's Chicken Big Mac. And I think that's an acceptable lesson for me to learn, you know? I don't need to like it. I just know for a fact now, hey, I don't like the McDonald's Chicken Big Mac. There doesn't need to be anything else for me to, to learn out of this little adventure, this little trial. This is not good. I don't like it, so I'm never going to order it again. I want the McRib. I want the McRib, and I want it now. I am the McRib's strongest warrior. If there are no McRib fans, it's because I'm dead. Cube... Oh, do you remember Kevin the Cube? Kevolution Energy. What's this guy's name? Pinkatachi, right? I got you, Pinkatachi. But mostly you had Gnome in your name. You had no chance.
Meowdus is cute. I do like the, uh, the, the, like, infighting of, like, Meowdus sucks, Meowdus is awesome. I helped. I helped. Okay. I'm figuring out this shotgun at least. Because I've never been good with this shotgun in any any of my days. In all of my days, I've hated this shotgun. But I don't... Honestly, I don't know why I headshot him. No body shot. Same with the headshot. Mostly because it reminds me of the pump, the hammer pump. This reminds me of the hammer pump, and I hate the hammer pump so much. If the hammer pump has no enemies, it's because I'm dead. Decidedly awful shotgun. Horrible time. Horrible time. But what if I do two pumps? You can't do two pumps anymore. They got rid of it. But what if I have two pumps on me anyway? The original pump is the is 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 what the hammer wished it could be. Yeah, I, I'm finding that out. Like I said, I never played enough early Fortnite. I started right after I started playing Fortnite regularly after the uh, the Rick and Morty season. I missed the Rick and Morty season, and then I started playing the season uh, with Carnage, I think. And I was like, oh wait a minute, game can be fun. Oh shit! And then Zero Build came out, and I was like, okay, okay, I'm I'm in. They locked me in. They called me out. They said, yes, sir. They're taking the building out. And I said, yes, I'm here. I'm coming. Oh, nothing in there. Damn. I, I destroyed all those boudoirs, all those armoires. I destroyed every armoire in the, in the in the vicinity and yet nothing. Nothing for a guy like me. Hammer pump is garbage. Hammer pump is garbage that persisted for much longer than I ever thought it would. Genuinely surprising it was in all of season five or chapter five. Cannot believe they added more shotguns and then took out shotguns other than the hammer pump. I think a lot of chapter four, the hammer pump was there too, right? Oh shit, boats is back. Oh shit, me when I drive the boat? You know the best two days of the boat owner's life, right? The day he buys the boat, the day he sells the boat. Yeah, I'm driving the boat on land. Yeah, what of it? I don't know how the boat even slowly traverses on land, but all right. Land boat. Ahoy. Don't mind me, dude. I'm just boating. Just boating through corn. Love it when I get to boat through the corn sea. Feels good. Sorry. Come on, man. Seeing if I can goof on him a little bit. Oh, they're already out of here. All right, dude, I see. I'm out of here too, then. All right, okay, okay, okay. That's all right. 
I gotta, I gotta go to Snoop Dogg Island anyway. All right. They got a Hey Man. Pretty cool. I love seeing little Fortnite statues. Oh, wow. Cool. Hey Man. Uh. -huh. Bales of hay. Bales of hay into the man. Hey Man. Uh. -huh. Hey Man. Uh. -huh. Fighter of the wheat, man. Uh. -huh. This is just going to be early into chapter two, so the shotgun blow isn't going to be bad in this. Uh, what is it? Sit. What is it? How infamously bad the primal season was. The primal season was bad because it was just, it was just bad. I mean, there's, the, the, it was a genuinely awful season. Is that a Cadillac, man? Is that a Snoop Dogg? Is that a, is that a lowrider? You're so lucky I'm in this boat, man. So lucky I'm in this boat, man. Otherwise, I'd get you. If I wasn't in this boat, man, you'd freaking die. What was that a Ludus Llama? It had Laura Croft, and I was it. Uh, I was thinking of the jungle season, which I think was uh, like my worst season, which was uh, the Transformers in the jungle. And I was like, wow, this is crazy. They got Optimus Prime in here. Wow. Like, wow, this shit's so crazy. They got Sloptimus Prime in there. Oh shit, am I low riding? Oh! Okay, it bounces, all right. Low rider is a low rider. Low rider is a little higher. Who's up here, man? Shake him down. that what have they even got in snoop's mansion the dog pound is snoop dog around here somewhere do you like up at the top how oh, people have already fought up here hi is that goku okay goku Goku, I don't know. I don't know what you're doing here, Goku. Oh, he beat me with a clicky. He had a slightly better shotgun. He played me like a damn fiddle. I can't believe I got Gokust. This is ridiculous. Oh, so how do you go to your... Ah, there's your old loadouts. Okay. I never play enough with the power armor, I feel. Brendan doesn't know the pickaxe trick? The what? What do you mean pickaxe trick? You're supposed to switch to the pickaxe and, like, hit the car? You just beat him to death? I have no idea what that means. The pickaxe trick? Zoomers love the George Lopez show. They can't stop talking about it. Yeah, because they keep getting fed to the George Lopez clips in TikTok. They keep getting the TikTok clips with uh, with somebody cutting soap underneath or Fall Guys gameplay underneath. They're like, oh man, this show? I should watch this show in 60 second increments. Just random pieces of random episodes. This is the best way to experience media. We're in the new age. Old people would never understand. We're in the new age of media. The, the perfect way to experience a show or a movie 
is to watch it while like something else is playing underneath of it or to the side. Somebody cutting soap, uh, somebody, somebody playing Fall Guys or Rocket League or uh, Sewer Surfers. I get the Reddit stories with the Minecraft speedruns. Some of them nowadays aren't even Reddit stories. I saw that some of them with the Minecraft speedruns, some of them are literally just chat GPT narrated random stories that chat GPT will cook up. It's like one day there was boy, boy was boy, boy was sad because boy, and then boy was boy because boy. It's like, oh man, that's, you're, you're really cooking with this, man. To be fair, I saw the, I saw the writing on the wall for green text and Reddit narration. Now it's all, uh, have you guys seen the fucking Reddit podcasts? Those are, those are, I hate those, man. Something about those I genuinely hate. There are podcasts where people literally all they do is they go to am I the asshole or like different subreddits and they're just like, here's a story from Reddit. Am I the asshole if I kill my wife with a knife? And they have like three people on who are like, well, I don't know if you're, I don't know if you're an asshole if you kill your wife with a knife and they discuss the Reddit post. Part of me is like, man, I hate this. The other part of me is like, this is just like a call-in show, but nobody's calling in. True crime channels are all AI slop now. I mean, well, yeah, because it's... They're going to take the easy way out, dude. If somebody is offered the easy way, they're going to use the easy way. They're not going to, like, do the research and figure that shit out. They're just going to Google Wikipedia crimes. Googling crimes, checking Wikipedia, putting it into the algorithm, making ChatGPT come up with, like, something... Uh, off that information, hoping that ChatGP does it, doesn't like make something up, and then post it on there with an AI narrated voice. For now, you're welcome. Don't make a habit of it. You know, you could maybe pick up one of these times. It's like people are always gonna take the easy way out. I'll try you again. If somebody thinks there's an easy way to be like, oh, bad. People love this kind of slop. I should be a slop cutter, so are. And they'll do it. People will always take the easy way out. Anything anything to make the boring parts easier and the, the slop sloppier. I don't mind if somebody's making AI slop stuff. I just hate it when they're like, well, actually, it is still art. And I'm like, come on, man. Just admit it's slop. It's not going away. I fundamentally understand that. But, like, don't pretend you're doing anything crazy. Actually, my 4,000 AI images of Lola Buddy uh, presenting her breasts are uh, actually pretty high-quality art. I'm not going to like, like, come on, man. Don't even pretend. If you're going to make slop, at least admit it's slop. Come on now. I actively bully people who make AI slop? Ah, doing God's work, I see. So, from Reddit, am I the asshole for refusing to eat the food my father-in-law made and lying about it? Brendan, go. I don't give a shit. I don't fucking know this person. I don't fucking know this person. I don't give a damn. I'm like, shit, I don't know them. Oh, I don't know where they went. Yeah, I lost him, son of a bitch. Are they still in the house? They weren't still in the house, right? No, they weren't still in the house. Really short podcast episode. No, I, just, I, I don't care about like, I don't have an opinion on what other people are doing. Am I an asshole for eating a child's candy right in front of the child and saying, ha ha? 
so fun fact actually the child is uh is 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 ontologically evil and he spews red flames so i think it's cool that i ate all that child's candy but uh, am i the asshole for doing it I don't know. I, I read shit on Reddit and it's just like, am I a bad husband for yelling and screaming at my wife and throwing her down the stairs? Does that make me an asshole? Or like, this guy was yelling and screaming at me and he threw me down the stairs. Am I an asshole for that? And it's like some Reddit stories you want to suspend your disbelief, but so many of them are just like, hey chat, uh, so... Like, I saw my wife looking at pictures of ramen on um, Pinterest. And uh, one of the pictures was a guy eating ramen. My wife said, oh, so handsome, oh, so handsome. And she kept pointing at the screen. And she kept just saying, oh, so handsome, oh, so handsome. Uh, I got mad and I walked out and I haven't been back home in two weeks. Am I the asshole? Like, it's just, I, I read the Reddit stories. I'm just like, yeah, okay, man. All right. That's cool, dude. I'm like, yeah, man, that's, uh, that's real, man. That's real shit, man. You're really getting into it, man. I the asshole for eating a bunch of legumes in front of somebody who is allergic to legumes. Yeah, probably, man. I don't know. Fuck. Uh, I think my favorite part of any Reddit stories is whenever there's like a relationship thing where it's just like me and my boyfriend or me and my partner had a fight and it's like a fight that like uh, I uh, as seeing it you read about the fight and you're like okay this isn't like that big of a deal like this is just okay you both need to sit down and talk to each other about the fight and like act like humans but Reddit advice is like divorce him Divor divorce him You should divorce him now. It's like, oh my god, dude. You gotta kill him. You're the asshole. You gotta divorce him. It's like the highest rated comment. It's like, what? Well, thank you for the chug jug. I appreciate it. What a kind, friendly fella. Oh, shot. I'm dead. There it is. All right, that's enough Fortnite for me, I think. We're going to swap over to Voices. Also, Jesus Christ. I got to wait until some of the, like, goofy gamers get offline. And hey, look at that. I got the LBC signature. That looks like a Garfield gun. Thank you, Snoop Dogg, for the Garfield gun. All right, we're going to close Fortnite, switch over here, and then I'm going to get Voices set up, so give me a minute.